this week's edition of ONW Now. I'm Sean McParland alongside Samantha McHugh. Today we have coverage over RFC, the Topeka Pride Fest, and Game Day Northwest. You may have heard of Wright Raven Flight Corps or RFC, but you may not know exactly what they do. Luis and I found out what it means to be an RFC member and have an influence over homecoming week. Last year marked the first time Malik Northwest held a homecoming parade. And this year, the parade returned, making it one of the most memorable homecoming weeks in Olympic Northwest history. Because the students were so passionate about their school, about working together, about being involved, coming out and showcasing their spirit at the football game, the assembly. So you could just tell that there's energy radiating throughout the school. RFC is like no other school group. They spend countless hours working outside of school to make homecoming week possible. Um, being a part of RFC is really just having that ambition and drive to make ONW even better than it already is and just having other students feel the same way. So just really motivating everybody else to be just as excited about being a part of ONW as you are. RFC wants every Raven to have a great high school experience. RFC is sort of like the parents for that family, I guess. Like We try to lead everyone, we try to be the role models that everyone can look up to for school spirit and just leadership in general. After all the preparation from RFC, Ms. West had nothing but positive things to say about them. So I'm just so proud of Raven Flight Corps. I'm proud of Olathe Northwest. And you could just tell that all week long, that students were, they felt that it was a Raven family, that they enjoyed being at games, they enjoyed being in classes and working together with different groups. This has been Luis Ruiz. Now back to the desk. LGBT is a growing community, and LGBT Pride Fest was held in Topeka two weeks ago. Lee Volker was there. Rainbows, laughs, smiles, these are just a few things you will encounter at Topeka Pride Fest. Really just to see all the colors here, all the support here, you really always see just these really happy people. Topeka Pride Fest is an event held annually in the Noto Arts District celebrating lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender rights and pride. It's just a lot of fun to come out here and really support gay rights and gay pride. People from all over Kansas came to attend this event, even a few of our own students. I'm here today to come explore, see some stuff with my friends, and just kind of check out the general scene of what's going on. There were many activities to keep the attendees entertained. And you can expect just some booths going on, some products being sold, just general fun. Though it was definitely fun, Topeka Pride Fest is here for an important cause. I think Pride Fest is absolutely important. It really spreads the word to a lot of people and uh, gets a lot of people educated. Pride Fest takes place every September, so remember to attend next year. I really hope that it will grow more with each year because more the merrier. For ONW Now, this has been Lee Volker. Now back to the desk. Thanks, Lee. Let's check out Game Day Northwest for the latest on Raven Sports. Hey Ravens, welcome to this week's edition of Game Day Northwest. I'm your host, Brennan Wolford, alongside Riley DeMauro. Today we have recaps from last week's football, soccer, and last night's Pink Out Volleyball game. Let's get started. Last Friday, the O&W football game team took on Shawnee Mission North for our seniors' last homecoming game. Jackson Muellman has the recap. It was the homecoming game last week against the Shawnee Mission North Indians for the Ravens. O&W started off strong with a sack by senior linebacker Bailey McCauley. The Ravens took advantage of great field position with a seven-yard touchdown run by junior running back Ashton Avery. But Shawnee Mission North struck back quickly with a 45-yard bomb from Will Schneider to Taylor Knowles that gave the Indians an 8-7 lead. L&W's own Easton Klepper not to be outdone by his competitor three screen pass to Jesse Rose for a 20-yard touchdown in Rose's first of the year. After that, the Indians scored a controversial touchdown that brought them within one going into half. Coming out of the half, the Ravens never let up. Ashton Avery scored his second touchdown of the game on a five-yard carry. Darius Henderson scored a 20-yard touchdown of his own, showing off his speed. The game was capped off by Brennan Watkins' fantastic 57-yard touchdown run, with, giving the Ravens the 42-22 lead and win. O&W is now 4-1 and, and will play this Friday against Shawnee Mission Northwest. For Game Day Northwest, this has been Jackson Mielman. Oh, and back to the Ravens. Congratulations to the guys and make sure to count out this Friday as they take on Shawnee Mission Northwest and come decked out in your Christmas gear. Soccer has been kicking it on the field and coming out strong this season. Parker, Matt, and Riley have details. Okay, 
The Ravens men's soccer team took on the Shawnee Mission East Lancers at Seaback last Thursday. The Ravens started off strong when Chase Kluzman scored a goal with the assist from Griffin Keane. The game stayed tied with Shawnee Mission East coming close on a couple of shots, but Charlie Holmgren was able to get his eighth shutout of the year. The game ended with the Ravens winning 1-0, and their record is now 7-4-1. They are going to play at Shawnee Mission West next Tuesday. So go out and support your Ravens. Last night, ONW played in their third annual Dig Pink Out game, where they honored all the women who have been affected by breast cancer. Tanner Holland has the story. It's breast Cancer Awareness Night at Olathe Northwest, as the number nine ranked volleyball team hosted Olathe South. The team worked to continue their amazing season. The Ravens took on Olathe South, sweeping the Falcons with the scores of 25 to 10 and 25 to 12. The Ravens breezed through the match and now have a Sunflower League best 25 and one record. For Game Day Northwest, this has been Tanner Holland. Now back to the desk. Thanks, Tanner. Good luck to all our sports playing for state this next week. For Brendan Wolford, I'm Riley Tomorrow. Now back to the desk. We are having a great fall sports season. Let's keep it going, Ravens. Remember, there is no school on Friday. Next Wednesday is testing day at Northwest. Parent-teacher conferences will be held on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. There will be no school next Thursday or Friday. For Samantha McHugh, I'm Sean McParlin. Have a great day, Ravens.